Following on from the previous video, we've established that um, anything in between this interval will, uh, will converge. We now need to consider what happens when it's dead on negative a third and dead on dead on uh, a third. So, uh, so let's let's look at the case when x equals uh, negative a third. So, when x equals negative a third, we would need to put this into the x into the x here. That will then give us this. So, so remember, um, a b to the power of n. That's the same as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. So, uh, so you can you can merge these two together. So merge these two together. That will then give you positive one to the power of n. That will then give you one to the power of n. But then one to the power of n is just one. So, uh, so, so this whole thing here will then become this. Okay. So, so now you you can use you can use um lots of methods to. Uh, to, to, to decide if this is going to converge or if this is going to diverge. We've done this many times in the past, but an, an alternative way of doing this is to, uh, to, to, uh, to consider this. When n equals 0, put it into here, this thing here would be square root of 1. When n equals 1, when n equals 1, put it into here, that would be square root of 2. And then when n equals 2, put it into here, that would be the square root of 3 and so on. So this whole thing here, Really translates to this to this thing here, but then you can rewrite this as this. Start at rather than starting at n equals zero, start at n equals one. So um, so put one into here. That would be one over uh, square root of of uh, one, which is this thing here. When n equals two, so basically everything's the same, but instead of starting at n equals uh, zero, you start at n equals one, and it will trans. This thing here will also translate to this. So, um, so, so, so another way of writing this is to write it like this. But now we can see that um, p series here. Uh, this is we've we've seen this many times. This here will diverge. Okay. So, so so far what we've got is uh, lo looking at um, our, um, our line here, a third uh, and uh, a negative a third. We, we know that anything in between here will converge. But here. Uh, dead or negative a third, it would diverge. So, so we can't we can't include uh, negative a third. Ne dead or negative a third, it would diverge. Okay. So now now we need to consider what happens when it's dead on a third. So when when x is dead on a third, put this into the x. That will then give you this. So now you can just simply get this, merge it with this. That will then give you negative um, negative one to the power of n. So here, this is an, an this is an alternating series. So alternating series, we're going to use the alternating series test. So this, so to decide if this is going to diverge or if it's going to converge, we're going to use this test. So uh, extract your your un. So uh, so discard this positive negative one thing and just extract your un. So extracting, looking at this, extracting your un would be this. So make sure all the uns are or positive, which it is the case, because and as you as any heads towards infinity, this will always be positive. Therefore, the whole thing will always be positive. So condition one has been met. Uh, check number three. Uh, make sure the limit as n tends to infinity heads towards zero. So as n gets bigger and bigger, the whole thing here will head towards zero. So so number three has been met. So now check number two. Uh, make sure that it's um, it's uh, non non-increasing well if, if you um if you get the next term uh so so if you look at there, there are lots of ways of doing this uh use whichever method you want so um so so n plus one this is your n so uh, the next term will be n plus one well well this thing here hang on, that will then give you this n plus two so you can see that this thing here will be less than will always be less the next term Will always be less than the the current term because um, well we've done this many times I hope you can tell just by looking at it so condition two has been met all three have been met therefore this uh, this series will uh, will converge so what we'll, so right from the uh, from the start right from the beginning of the, the uh, previous video we were trying to determine the uh, the radius of convergence and the interval convergence so. Um, so, so we would use a ratio test that would that led us to this, and we require this whole thing here to be less than one. 
well requiring this to be less than one would, would give us this interval here but then then we then we need to check um, we, we need to manually check uh, that or negative a third well we checked um, that or negative a third and, and we've established that this thing is going to diverge so uh, so that on that on negative three it um, it would diverge but then when we manually checked the positive third we, we've established that it's going to converge so so really our, our our domain for this function here can be re, can be written as this so so even though so here you exclude the uh, the negative a third here you include a third uh, you include the the uh, the a third so uh, but but the thing is the radius of convergence is still a third uh, e even though even though you've got a uh, a, a, a curved bracket here, and here you've got a squared bracket. Even even though that's the case, the radius uh, of convergence is still uh, a third. It's, the radius is still a third, uh, and it's centered at zero. Okay.